Good morning, this is Alex Sigurds, and today I have the final 2022 News in Review, which recaps the top stories of Pangyo Techno Valley in 2022. Among the four differentiated keywords we have, I will cover the last topic, culture and contents. And our first story comes from June. SKT opens Team Studio based on VFX for media content. It's expected to contribute to the content industry by incorporating into the studio SKT's key technologies such as AI and cloud technologies, as well as their wired and wireless technologies. Team Studio is located in the Pangyo Second Techno Valley. It's a U-shaped studio lined with two LED wall stages, volume stage and XR stage. Thanks to its unique design, it can provide optimized environments for content creation. SKT plans to actively pursue a strategy based on the core value of the team studio by leading the connections with other various studios to create synergy. First, SKT will have a consortium in collaboration with other major studios with LED walls in Korea and share the infrastructure and resources of each studio to present a new paradigm that is free of time and space constraints in content production. Supernova, which restores old videos and turns them into high resolution videos, and AIPP, AI Post Production, which removes subtitles and copyrighted music, are AI media solutions as well. The combination of AI media solutions and LED walls of Team Studio will lead the new trend in the content production industry. Now on to the second news story from the year from this past August. Krafton revealed Anna, a virtual human influencer for the Z generation. Anna is a virtual human that gives off positive energy and positively influences the world through music and entertainment. It is a Generation Z influencer interested in games, songs, dances, and fashion. In addition, it aims to create a sustainable society, such as protecting animals and the environment. And as green crystal ring allows her to jump into the various real worlds and interact with the world in new ways. In addition, Anna had a special ability to make people around her feel better by shooting a pink bubble gun with the word fizz on it. Krafton said Anna has just arrived in the real world to influence the world positively and will grow into a virtual influencer representing Generation Z around the world with a unique story and worldview. Now on to the third news story. NCSoft plays an orchestra for its game, Lineage. Lineage is Korea's first online game, introduced back in 1998, and it has been 25 years since its first release. NC provides its own content with IP, such as original soundtracks, sheet music, and videos, all of which are necessary for performances and support the show and art creation. This performance, featuring 40 representative soundtracks of Lineage, Lineage M, and Lineage W, such as The Hidden, Eternal, and Gongzong, during the orchestral performances. In addition, visual elements such as animation and graphics from the games were also presented along with the performance. For our fourth news story, this comes from September. Kakao opens Kakao Impact Fellowship season. Fellowship is a project that selects and supports social innovators in various fields, such as social ventures, nonprofit organizations, activists, researchers, and creators. The aim of the project is to create social impact through investment in people. This season selects activists in various fields, including minorities in society, abandoned animals, human rights, people with disabilities or diseases, and the environment to raise awareness and solve problems within each field. Over the next two years, the selected fellows will receive financial support of up to 3 million Korean won per month to help them carry out activities for social innovation. And online content production and cacao platform-based promotional channels will be provided as well. In addition, it plans to support network formation so that it can communicate with experts and innovators in various fields and create greater synergy. The fellowship application period is up to four years, which includes a potential extension after the first two. Last, and of course, not least, our final news story of the year from October. 
Naver acquires a North American fashion C2C platform, Poshmark. The purpose of Naver's acquisition was to secure long-term commerce competitiveness by proactively responding to the global C2C market, which is evolving into a vertical platform. Naver and Poshmark both agree that they could create tremendous growth based on business visions. One, a community based on customer attention as a critical factor. Two, a better understanding of values and consumption methods of Generation MZ, which is the core customer base of the next generation market. And three, continuous investments in technology. Both companies plan to increase the service connection between the story and entertainment businesses based on Webtoons and Wattpad, which are very popular among Generation MZ in North America, and the commerce business through Poshmark. In addition, Naver will use its search engine AI recommendation and vision technologies, live commerce community platforms, and advertising platforms to provide innovative experiences to Poshmark users and explore new business models. And that about wraps it up this year for our year in review 2022 from Pangyo Techno Valley, a leader in culture, bio, AI, gaming, and a variety of other fields. I'm looking forward to bringing you more exciting news from Pangyo Techno Valley in 2023. My name is Alex Sigrist. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you next year.